totally different. The man child's caught up to God, caught up. Rapizo, raptured. And we shall be caught up. Caught up to God and to his throne. That gets into another three hours on the rapture. Forget that I even mentioned it. Caught up to God and to his throne. Who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron to him that overcometh? Will I give power over the nations? And I will, you will rule them. You will rule them with a rod of iron. And a vessel of a potter shall they be beaten to shivers. You will take the kingdoms of this world and make them the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. You'll go forth as fire and the Holy One over you for a flame. But the greatest warfare that this world has ever seen, we know the old devil, the old Satan, the serpent. When we know it's a serpent, subtlety. Gets real close, charming a little bit, and all of a sudden it'll, it'll bite you. We know we're not ignorant of his devices. Then we got a scorpion, said the frog. To the scorpion said, hey, frog, I got to have a little fun here. Frog said to the scorpion, hey, buddy, carry me on over to the other side of this little old creek bed. And the, and the old frog thought about it a minute and said, no, I can't do that. Because just at the time that I get out there in the middle of the water, you'll strike me and that old venom will go into my veins and I'll die. And the old scorpion said, well, I wouldn't do that. Because if I did that, we'd both die. Old frog thought about it a minute. Said, yeah, you're right. Hop on. Got to swimming across the creek. The old frog thought it was going good. Got halfway across the creek bed. Sure enough, that old scorpion looked down at it and said, I can't stop no more. Whop! He hit that frog, stung him. Now the old frog said, why in the world did you do that? Now we're going to both die. And the old scorpion said, I couldn't help myself. It's just my nature. The scorpion... He don't settle you. He just comes out there and boom, stings you. But it's always with the tail. Never to your face, always with the tail. Joab to Ab Abner to Mason, the fifth rib. Hey, brother, I love you. That old Jeff, he ain't nothing but a... You doing it, you ain't going in. You shut your mouth because you ain't going in. You're a liar. You're destroying the people of God. God's going to destroy you. Oh, you don't like this kind of preaching. I know what you like. Hallelujah. Ha. And they're going down the Jericho Road. Ha. And by and by the mess. Ha. Cried out so. Ha. That's the kind of preaching you like. I did that in a black church Sunday. They didn't know what to think. I don't care either. If they want a revival, fine. If they don't, that's fine with me. I'm going to tell you, I'm a fool for Jesus right now. The Lord said, associate yourself with men of like mind. Somebody don't believe this, I ain't going to have nothing to do with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Have a good day. I have nothing for you. But the ones, the people of God that do, I'm going to latch on to you and pray for you like you ain't never prayed before and I ain't never prayed before. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. How would you like to have somebody praying for you for a change instead of praying? I'll pray for you, brother. My God, do you believe what he did? Never say a prayer? I can't believe he asked me for that. The man child is not the woman. The woman is not the man child. The last great wonder 
The Lord asked me six months ago, he said, will you stand for me? I said, yes, Lord, I'll stand for you. If you stood for me, I'll do my best to stand for you. He said, will you fight the great red dragon that hath the seven heads and ten horns? I said, yes, Lord, even unto death. Then the Lord showed me what the, red, the old great red dragon was. I'd never seen that. I thought, well, it's just another name for a devil. No, that great red dragon is the last pull out stop of fullness of the, of, the, of the power of Satan with all signs, miracles, and lying wonders. He pulls out all stops, the devil coming down to you having great wrath that he knows he has but a short time. And the seven-head, ten-horned dragon goes out for one reason, to destroy the man-child as soon as he's brought forth. Just like Moses, whenever he was birthed, Pharaoh went out to kill all the children. Whenever Jesus was born, they killed all the firstborn males, two years and under. God's birthing this last man-child in the last days, and the devil's going out to destroy it. May make war with the woman and the remnant of her seed. Not the church, not Jesus over there 2,000 years ago, but the woman went to make war with the woman, the remnant of her seed, who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony, the testimony of Jesus. Somebody said, I don't understand what the testimony is. To the ark and to the testimony, if any man speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in him. My to the testimony the testimony of Jesus Revelation 19 10 worship God for the testimony of Jesus is, is, is the spirit of prophecy just as a body without the spirit is dead so the body of Christ without the spirit of prophecy is dead also There's a word that is life to your bones. It's healing. The ones that don't make this call, Paul said, I have not already attained, neither am I already perfect. I'm closed. But this one thing I do, I'm reaching, trying to apprehend that of which I'm apprehended of Christ. Forgetting those things which are behind. Reaching forth to those things. Faith is the substance of things. I have many things to tell you, disciples, but you're not able to bear them now. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. I have many things to tell you. Reaching forth of those things which are before us. That ain't Acts 2.38. Pressing out toward the mark for the prize. The mark. The mark. The mark. The mark is a sign. The mark. The seal, the signet, the sign, the signature, the mark, the mark of God, the mark. And I heard the number, there were six men that had a destroying weapon beside their side. And there was one that had a rider's ink horn in the midst of them. Six with a destroying weapon plus one in the midst of them makes seven. Seven, seven, seven seals, seven trumpets, seven bowels, seven spirits of God before the throne of God, the seven stars to the seven churches. Seven because it's over. It's coming to the end. The consumption decreed shall overflow in righteousness. You don't hurt none of them. But you put a mark 
of all, all the ones that are crying out for the sins and abominations done in Israel in the church. Put a mark on them. You crying out for your brother? You ain't going to be marked. Are you, your priests, your prophets are like the foxes in the desert because they had not gone up the gap nor made up the hedge for the children of Israel to stand in the day of the battle of the Lord. All the ones that are crying out for the sins and abominations done in God's people, God will take there and put a mark on them. He'll seal them. And they shall be mine in the day that I shall make up my diadems. Though gross darkness cover the land and gross darkness the people, yet the Lord shall rise upon thee and be thy light upon thee. You shall be for a fire and the Holy One over you for a flame and I'll give power unto my two witnesses. That's the church. No, it's not the church as we know it. It's the man child called up to God and to his throne. It's the ones counted worthy of it. The ones that are counted worthy will go out in the spirit of Elijah, in the spirit of Moses, which is Jesus only. Hallelujah. And they will go out and power will be given to those two witnesses for the 42 months, time, times a half, three and a half years, 1,203 score days, and they shall prophesy. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for witness unto all nations. You never understood you had a call on your life to preach to preach the word. You never understood it. Hallelujah unto God. Hallelujah. We aren't playing games around here. Hallelujah. And all oh, they had power. You have power to call fire down from heaven as often as you will. You can turn the waters to blood as often as you will. Look at me. If you hadn't heard one thing I said tonight, I'm going to tell you the difference between a revival and the new thing in a nutshell. Now somebody said, well, what's the big deal? I know what my call is. I'll prophesy over you when I feel I have a good prophet, but I'm not a prophet. God called me in Mark 6 as an apostle, and I've been booted out of more churches than some preachers have preached in because they don't want this word. Hallelujah. Apostles, I say you name apostles, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able, you'd be hard pressed to name one. He said, you don't call yourself an apostle. I ain't calling myself an apostle. The Lord does. But don't go around, and if the Lord calls you as a prophet, go go around and tell everybody you're an evangelist because they think all you're going to do is stir up the thing a little bit, and there you are, a prophet up there, and you're going to prophesy for hours. They don't know how to take you. Don't tell anybody you're an apostle without the deep things of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You find out what your call is and that's what you say and you abide in that call when you're called. Hallelujah. And if you're an apostle, don't try to be a prophet. If you're a prophet, don't be an evangelist. If you're an evangelist, certainly don't be a pastor. And if you're a pastor, you ain't no teacher. Somebody said, well, I, I, I'm, I'm elevating myself from, from a teacher to, to evangelist and then pastor and then I'm going to get up to be a prophet one day. No, you're not. You're about the stupidest thing that ever walked. Somebody said, I'm the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. You just blaspheme God. He's going to cut you down, cut your legs off. You're going, if he doesn't kill you, you're going to wind up out there with your, with your nose in the dirt. There's only one apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, and that was Jesus. He's the only one that had it all. But now, if he calls you to be a teacher, you be one. Abide in the call wherein you are called. You will never call you as a, an apostle. You will never be a prophet. If he calls you as a prophet, you will never be an apostle, ever. I rebuke that devil in Jesus' name. You high and mighty thing, you. People lifting up, up self-pride over the body of Christ. The doctrine of the Nicolaitans ruling over God's laity, and he's going to destroy every one of them. The prophet that's deceived, I, the Lord God, have deceived that prophet, and I will destroy him. You start getting to the book of the Revelation, bless God, you better know what you're talking about. If you don't, he will kill you. I knew one church said, we're going to get into the book of the Revelation. I won't call a man's name. Not too far, about an hour from here. And the Lord never, two months they had meetings and put all things out in flyers. You know the one I'm talking about. You know.